Guys, in the last video, we saw the customizations we can do to Tiny MCE to make our rich text editor experience more and more better. Now what I'll do is I'll save all these images that I like and let us keep it inside the slider. So inside IMG, I will save it. Okay, so this is my portfolio website folder. What I'll do is I'll go to mountain coders folder static and let me create a directory called img and inside img let me save this with the name slider one okay that makes sense so let me save it now slider one dot jpg and let me reload and see if i get a better image than this one okay so this image looks good as well let's do save image as and i'll call it slider two slider two let me see if I get another better image. I think this looks good as well. So let me call it slider three. And this is a matter of choice. If you don't like this website, if you don't like the image, you can do the customizations as and when required. So I have saved all my uh, files inside IMG folder of my static directory. Now what I'll do is I'll come back to my index.html and instead of saying source.unsplash.com, what I'll do is I'll go to slash static. Let me say slash static and I'll say slash IMG slider one dot JPG. And then once again, I'll do the same with slider two dot JPG slider two dot JPG. And once again with slider three dot JPG slider three dot JPG. And this should load the images that I saved. So I think this looks good. But again, I think I changed the images at wrong place. So my bad, I should have changed the images inside this. So no problems. I'll once again do the same thing for my about section, the mini about section that I have on the home page. So instead of calling it slider, I'll call it, uh, let me call it icon one it's actually not icon so let me call this let me call it thumbnail thumbnail one thumbnail two uh, okay but before that what i'll do is i'll have to go to unsplash.com to grab these images so thumbnail one thumbnail two and thumbnail three uh thumbnail three so the image was 160 by 160 so what i'll do is i'll go to unsplash.com and instead of going to unsplash.com i'll go to source.unsplash.com and what i'll do is i'll copy this one not this one i just want to have a url which will give me the images uh, by searching with search term i'll copy this i'll paste it here and my image was 160 by 160 and i'll write coding here let me write coding here i hope it pops up a nice image for me i think this looks good uh, so I'll call it thumbnail one and once again, I'll reload it. Now, once again, I'll copy this URLs and I will paste it here. Let me call Apple code. And once again, I'll say 160 by 160, 160 by 160. And let me copy this and let me see if I get better images. I'll keep on firing this until I get better images. I think this image is good as well. So let me copy this thumbnail two, and let me see if I get a better image once again. I think this looks good as well. Thumbnail three and let me reload my website now. Oh yes, it looks good. It looks amazing. Plus it loads faster than before. Okay. So this website looks clean now mountain coders and then we have this thing and then once again we have my choosers if you want to increase the spacing between this my choosers and the images you can do that and i have told you how to do that we have this footer all right so this website looks good now now once again if we want to make some changes to the blog page what i'll do is i'll change the max height or rather min height of this page the minimum height that it should always have it's called min height and not max height so let me go back to this page which is blog page dot html uh, blog home dot html i'm sorry so what i'll do is i will add a min height to my 
container which is holding all these posts okay so in order to do that what i'll do is i'll see where my container is which is holding all these posts it is here container so what i'll do is i'll create a new block and i'll say block css and i'll say block css and then tab and then i'll add the extra css here but before that i'll also have to add this block css inside my base.html so let me come back to base.html and let me add it here because this is the place where i want to have my extra css the css that i'm going to add and what i'll do is i will say okay so i want to start a style tag and inside the style tag what i'll do is i'll say container should have or rather dot container because i want to target the class is equal to container element and i'll say the element with class container should have a min height of min height and it has to be a tvh vh is viewport height if you don't know let me reload this and once i reload this it's uh, still hanging up here so let me make it 100 vh and i think this should fix it okay so 100 vh fixes it and we get a scroller here but i think that's totally fine because in the future we'll have a lot of posts and uh, we'll definitely have pagination at place and we'll see how that will work but at this moment i think we are good with this page once again we'll go to contact page and we'll do the same thing so i'll add this extra css to my contact.html as well let me do that control v control s to save let me reload and see the magic the magic failed why okay so i don't have any container here i'll say dev.container and let me add this this is my contact page here let me reload this okay so this is my contact page and i have this crawler you might as well change this to 95 vh if you think it's too much but i think 100 vh works fine as well okay so let me reload this i think 90 vh should work fine as well uh, you can tweak this as per your requirement and if you like this uh, scroller then you can keep 90 vh otherwise you can see what is the height of this thing and you can accordingly fix the height of your container whatever it uh, comes out to be okay but i think this crawler looks cool and and in the future we are anyway going to have this crawler in our website so i think that's totally fine and this looks totally good we have a mini description we have the blog we can customize it the way we want uh, we change the uh, links and we added the colors and i think it totally looks fine and i'm really very happy the way it looks and it is a little bit off because i think i added the code between the headings but i think that's totally fine if you want to customize it just go back to your uh, django admin and customize it the way you want okay so i think this mountain coders look amazing now we will come back in the next video we'll design this contact page we have already designed the blog page we will add pagination as well and then i think we'll be good with the blog so i hope you guys are liking these videos if you are please access this playlist if you haven't already done that and give me a like on this video and on the previous videos as well this is a humble request and if you can uh, give me few likes on my videos that would be really great so thank you so much guys for watching this video make sure you bookmark this playlist and save it by clicking here and i will see you next time